Auburn trying to get off the bubble, bubble and secure its spot in March Madness. Now wow. percentage look for Crowder. They did. All that was really is a decoy by Brandon Miller. Coming off of a pin down, all it did was open up that left side for Bradley to get downhill. And the big guy for Alabama again, a tremendous purposeful roll to the front of the rim. Green in traffic, too strong. Quinterly's got the rebound and a spin move. Four on two, Bama. To Sears for three. Got it! The lead is five. is Alabama confidence right there. Miller jumped the passing lane, but a foul before the pass. And Flanagan will be at the free throw line on a foul on Bradley. Window Green couldn't finish on the other end. And there's that roll by Clowney. Has his hands exposed. The ball doesn't surprise him. Quinley with a spin. This is the confidence I'm talking about. Number break, pull up, release. Not the percentage that you want on the road in tough games. Lanigan now one for two tonight. Five point lead for Bama in overtime was its largest of the game. Calmly sinks them both. Aiden Bradley has not scored a point tonight. Green will slack off of him. Here's Miller. Tried to shake more. Wanted the foul and sent a glare to the official. And now Green's on a mismatch with length. Followed his own miss and put it in. They got the mismatch. Window Green, only 5'9", had no chance to keep Miller away. So the second defender, Tom, had to rotate over. What does that do? It frees up that offensive glass. Flanagan for three. Wow. How good has Flanagan been in this game? We talked about his mid-range game. Has to be tremendous. A rise in the pop by him. And an offensive foul will go against Bama. That's charged to Miller. It's his third. And Auburn breaks serve. So you get the mismatch on that little go screen action. Miller's going to get the ball inside, but because of the rotation, the length of Brandon Miller takes over. Man, we've seen that reaction time and time and time again out of both Nate Oates and Bruce Pearl. That was a huge turnover with a two-possession lead. And an offensive foul the other way. I like the communication between Don Daly and KB Burdett. They both blew the whistle. Then Don Daly hesitated and said, I'm going to let the baseline official, who had a good view of it, the push off. And, right there. Yeah, that, and that's, that, that right there comes the, up. Sorry, that's a fifth on Flanagan. Tonight, he's had one huge shot in this game. And now he's guarding Jaden Bradley. Miller guarded by Moore in the paint. Clowney can't get it to him. Quinterly suffocated. And now Bradley gets it for his first bucket of the game. Tom Auburn, they took away Javon Quinterly. They took away Brandon Miller. And the freshman. Mr. Auburn will be Katie Johnson and Wendell Green Jr. Yep. Three-point play for Bradley. You can't let Berman get a three off if you're Alabama. 24 and wide up top. You've got to stay attached to him. Katie Johnson drives. Lost it. And they'll charge Quinterly with his second personal. Good offense for Auburn right now is driving the ball to the side that Berman is at. I know he's not a high-volume kid, but everybody knows he can really shoot it. Dior Berman, 60% in conference play from the three. Doesn't take a ton of them. But his gravity ability just might open up some drives for Katie Johnson and Wendell Green. Then the question is, can they finish against the Alabama League?
Missed them both. Now 13 for 22. 15 for 15 for 24. 24. Wow. How about this Auburn going to go? It's like a zone look. First look of zone tonight yeah. from Auburn. That's to keep those guards on the perimeter. If you're Alabama, you still want to stick your nose and drive in those gaps and force the action. Bradley over Cardwell. At the end of the shot clock, somebody lost a shoe. Cardwell turned his oh, ankle. Man. And yeah. they're going to have to stop play. And he is seriously injured, grabbing his right foot. A really awkward land and twist. Basketball. Inbound to Wendell Green Jr. Katie Johnson on Quinterly. Step back three. Huge play by Katie Johnson. Just refusing to go away is Auburn and Katie Johnson. Does Bruce go back to that 2 3 zone? It was good for him. I, I'd stay with it. Miller left open, though. Can't make him pay. But what you've done, you've kept Alabama from driving the ball, which is what they've been doing all their damage. Katie Johnson drives it. Meta blocks it. Sears gets it. Alabama holding on to a two-point lead. And how many times has Auburn guards had their shots blocked or altered by the length of Alabama in this game? Four blocks for Alabama and probably at least that many shots they've altered. Back to man. Shot clock at six. Miller on Moore. Donaldson jumped on. Shot clock at one. And the rebound is Sears. Under a minute to play. Another offensive rebound. And Auburn whistled for the foul. Yeah, Auburn went man to man because it was a live ball and hard to get that zone set. Really good switch out. Of course, a tough one by Miller. Watch Katie Johnson. Man, dance with it, dance with it. Back and forth, back and forth. Rock yourself into a three. This is what I'm talking about. Those Auburn guards have really struggled. They're not the only team that's going to struggle against Alabama's length inside, but Alabama's guards have. Cannot fault the effort, though. Man, have these teams fought like you're supposed to in March. Part of the pregame hype video here at Coleman Coliseum, the featured part is Auburn grad Charles Barkley saying, He's been the better team. Here's Bradley. To make it a four-point lead. No player in neither team has flinched one time in the last two and a half hours. Not once. Two-possession lead for Alabama. Trying to stay perfect at home. And to cut down the nets tonight. Miller jumps on Green. Berman got some space. A little lean in. Chris Moore. A rebound that Auburn had to have to keep their breath in this game. Berman matched up with Miller. Here's the jump. Got him to give it up. And Green fouls Bradley with 17 seconds left on the shot clock. And 22 left in overtime. It'll put Jaden Bradley, the freshman, at the free throw line. He is three for three from the line of this game. And now the rebound is of utmost importance to Auburn. And Auburn is small. And the concern is can you keep 15 in red off the glass if there's a miss? 22 seconds to play. Bama lead is three. Alabama will pick up full court for the first time. Auburn right. didn't see it. They need help. Into Berman. Back to Donaldson. Plenty of time left. Katie Johnson working on Bradley. Down three. Going for two. No whistle on the drive. Here's Bradley. 
tried to flush it, and Miller bails him out, and then a foul with six seconds left. That Alabama defense is no joke. I know Auburn has 85. The game's in overtime. But Tom, their ability to recover with recovery length and recovery speed. Watch Johnson drive the ball. And Clowney just meets him right there and throws up a big red wall. Bradley tries to finish it off with a hammer and gets denied. And now Miller, great position to close it out. Brandon Miller with 15 points. And with six seconds left, it might be enough. And Bruce Pearl's going to use a 10 on him. 16 nothing to tie the game. That's how far back they had to fight. From the way you said, I will be there, it was almost like a warning of the people on the plane. Like, <laughs> Jimmy's coming to town. <laughs> Love the jungle. Love the jungle. It will be as hot and as impactful as any home arena on Saturday, I expect. Six point one seconds remain. It's a two possession lead. Time is not in Auburn's favor. Katie Johnson. Got to get it off quickly. With one and that will do it. Alabama holds on in overtime.